Welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video, I will be teaching you Maple Leaf Rhyme by Scott Joplin. The first thing that we should know is the A flat major scale. And everything we're going to play is going to be based on those notes. If we have the A flat major chord here, A flat, C, and E flat. All we have to do is add an A flat here and we have an A flat major chord. If we flip the chord, that will be the first inversion. And if we flip it again, we have the second inversion. So the melody starts like this and it's just based on the second inversion of the A flat major chord. That's the first melody. And it's very important because this pattern will repeat several times. So we have A octave, E flat, A, C, and E flat. At the beginning we have rest, and then here it's gonna change. Notice that we're just arranging the notes from the A flat major chord. Instead we have this. Okay? Now, second step is this A flat major chord, the first chord from the scale, we're gonna also flip the E and put it here. So we have E flat, A, and C. And you can play two of those. And now what we'll do is try to play just that together. One last time. And now we have to add two more things because here we have A flat we could also just play in octaves A flat and then the two chords so we have this now and that's it and we're gonna add an addition to that which will be the E flat we're gonna jump another octave. So we have this E flat from the E flat major chord up an octave. And that's it. So this pattern you should learn it very well and notice that the A flat from the A flat major chord we double up A, C, E flat. We place the right hand here. We also place on the left hand the A flat and we have a bigger A flat major and then what we'll do is just punch this E flat come back and that's all there is to it now if you want to speed it up that's all you have to know if this is too difficult you should do everything we did until this point several times until it becomes easy so first chord of the scale A flat major and that's what we use just now now the next pattern is going to be solved by E flat major chord and what we have to do is find it and it's found on the fifth degree of the scale so we're gonna go B flat minor we don't need this one right now then we'll have the third chord C minor fourth chord E flat major and then we get to the fifth chord E flat major and what we'll do is the same technique that we did for the first one so we're gonna bring an E flat there and we'll have this pattern and that's all there is to it E flat together and then this now on the left hand so right hand all together we have this So it can be synthesized by thinking on A flat major and E flat major, the one and the fifth chord from the scale. Just take a look at that over and over until you basically understand very well this. Now we 
gonna find out from this chord, we're gonna find out the chord on the left hand. And what we have to do is find E flat here. That's the same chord, right? And the only difference is we're gonna get rid of B flat. B flat is already here. And we're gonna add the seventh. And this chord is to create tension. Before we play A flat major, now we're playing an E flat seven chord to create tension to release back to E flat. And this chord will be two times. So when you have this, there you have it. Another way you could just punch it before doing the original to get used to it. Now, if we try to learn a little bit more, we'll notice that the B flat here, we could punch it and go to here. B flat from the same chord. Okay. And we add a walking line, which is when we play this. Here we walk to B flat. And if you learn just that, you know a lot from the song because the next two measures are going to be the same. So, the important thing is that the left hand, E flat to A flat, we play two A flat inversions, walk to B flat, and the chord, and then here repeats. And then here it's going to fool dance because it's going to go somewhere else. Pattern for the right hand. Uh. Um. Repeats. Mm. Notice that it is a series of syncopation which is against the rhythm. So when you do it together, start doing it together, you do the jumping. Together, C together, walking, right, together, and then you repeat, walking to E flat, E flat 7 on the left hand, E flat, E flat. Now, what I'm going to do is play it so you can have a sense how this goes. Okay, we solve the two measures. They can be solved by this. Just remember A flat major to E flat major, which sometimes we use the seventh and is the first chord of the scale and the fifth. Next part. Now we're gonna do if you have E flat major like this, we could go one half step each, raise each note. So we could go to here. And that's why here is gonna fool us because this chord is not contained on the scale that we played. We do not have an E major there. So, but he says, okay, I'm gonna approach here by a half step, and he has a feeling of bending the notes. And then what we're gonna do is play the two octaves. This chord, we're gonna bring it also, the E natural on the left hand, and we'll break this down so we have That's all there is to it. This chord and coming back to E. So let me play the notes the way it goes. So E flat, E flat, double, E flat, and get the bending. And that's that's it there. This would be the second part if you want to call it like that. 
very simple because it played left, right, left, and right hand by itself. Left, right, left, right, and again the same thing. Left, right. Okay? Just remember this. So, so far we use the one chord, A flat major, E flat major, and if we raise one step, we use this one. So let's play it and see what it sounds like. Okay, that's all there is. Now, if you have the one chord, it's true that you could make it minor by lowering one note. And that's what we will have in this pattern. So, if we get rid of the E flat and we add an extra A on the top, and then we lower it here and we added a Levian note and then run this up that's what we have here let's do one last time that's it if we play a little more quickly we we'll have this Notice that we use the A flat minor here and we just are flipping the notes around and putting an A flat on the top and getting rid of the E flat. That's all there is. And we could call this, you could say that that's the intro or the beginning of the song. I don't know what you want to call it. And then we're going to have the famous theme like this. Now, now that we have uh, those chords, we need to add one more, and this is the first chord that we have. Is that D diminished? And you can see that we're using the A flat here, very close to it. We also use the E major here, A flat, and the E flat seven is here. So this one will create tension for those chords. So the left hand will go like this. Diminish, 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 diminish. A flat four times. E major two times. A flat again three times. E flat seven and release it to A flat. Okay? So this chord. D diminish. A flat major. Remember this one comes from the root chord. E major right there right next to it a flat major e7 and a flat if we do it like the song is written we'll have this notice a little tension on the e flat 7 and that's what we have on the left hand now melody now we have A's in octaves. Notice the syncopation there. So it has some double notes there, but I prefer giving you the notes the way it goes uh, because I don't think it's very difficult. So you're going to play this. A flat, A flat, A flat, and then quicker. E flat. Notice this. Let's do it one more time. So Okay, if you have problems with this, you could concentrate just on the A flats first. You could do this. Just practice that. Then you take the next part. That's it. One more time. And then. Alright, if you put it all together, both of hands play at the same time, so we're gonna do it very slow. Now double at the end. 
the left together together again same time now every other note syncopation okay I hope this is clear to you once you do it enough slow time so then you have this then the good news is this repeats below so and then we go back to the beginning so it's the same thing two times one time here and one time here and when I end this it goes back to the beginning in this next section what you have to do is first find out the target notes the target notes are E flat D, D flat C and B flat and then what you do is add an E flat major in between let's say if you play this so the whole section is going to be based on the fifth chord and you have this what you need to do now is add the E flat major chord in between so when you play you have this that's spelling out the E flat major chord but the only difference we're gonna go to D now and that's it the strange note is D which creates tension and also is syncopated against the rhythm so We're done. This next part, we go to a D flat. So we have, and we add the G and B flat. All together. So all you have to worry is to learn that by itself. always make a reference to the main chord which is E flat fifth chord from the scale now to add the left hand we'll have this we'll use the same E flat 7 that we had before and we have it three times but what we'll do is jump so the B is missing we jump to get the B flat we jump this one now we jump to the E flat B flat then G here is that and that G is to walk to an A flat major after this so we have if this is too difficult you can split the notes jump to E flat E flat then E flat G and we get to A at the same time we'll be hands together we have B flat together together by itself right hand by itself right hand together together and we get here now if this is too difficult you could do two chords so that means you play E flat and that would be enough next one next one and that's it and some
some people like it a little bit faster. I don't care the speed as much. Whatever it feels like at the moment. So if I wanna go for it, I go a little bit more. If I wanna play uh, slower, I'll do that. Now, the thing, the good news is the chord you learn at the beginning. See that the E flat, we continuously use it. And also we're gonna use the A flat, the one chord. So this is kind of like a one five song the whole time. So we're gonna do the same. So we have this, we open up in octaves and we're gonna do the target notes. So A flat, F, A flat, F and F. And then in between that, we'll add the A flat major notes. That's it. That's all there is. One last time slowly. Octave. Okay. And A flat major here. A flat major here. And what we'll do is jump on the left hand the same way we did uh, before with the A flat major. So we punch the A flat, we go up. We punch the E flat, we go up. A flat. And then we're gonna walk A flat, A and B. With that B flat brings us again to an E flat 7. So let's do it one last time. So we have. So always thinking da, 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 di, to get you to a different key. If we do it together from A flat, we get to B flat. I think I went a little bit too fast. Slowly will be together, same time, by itself, by itself, together. Match is here, syncopation, and we get there. Now, if we take it from before, you should be aware the E flat 7 and the A flat. They are right next to it, and he points it pretty well close to one another. So we have this now, all four measures. like the syncopated rhythm so when I play syncopated syncopation there to jump again so I, some of them I retain to create a little bumpy road with the syncopation so if you do it creates so it moves a lot. If we play a little bit quicker, so I mentioned before that the speed is very personal. He wrote that you should play it slow, so um, you could have a range. But sometimes we don't know how um, he will play it unless there is a recording somewhere out there he played it. Now let's continue to the next one now. And he's gonna go back now, a kind of like an E flat. But if you analyze the sound, it sounds diminished. So target notes will be G, F, G, F, and F. And what he does in the middle, he puts an E flat here. The sound that we are using. It's a diminished chord and if you go through the chords that we have on the scale we have A flat major, B flat minor second chord, C minor third chord, D flat fourth chord, 
E flat major fifth chord, F minor sixth chord, and then we get to diminish chord, seventh chord. Now he's using this one. First time. So he does this. So he does this. Okay, and but he based this on an E flat major chord, an E flat seven that we played before, and he has this left hand. Same from before, B flat to E flat seven, E flat to E flat seven. Same thing, and then he's gonna walk again, back to A flat. You say, but that's C. Well, E flat is here, A flat is here, so it would be the same, but grabbing C instead. If we do it together, we have this. And then we'll change that. Let's do it one last time and let's do the matching now. By itself, matches. Matches. Syncopated rhythm. Matches again. Matches. Remember to play it very slow so you can match it and sometimes you can cut it off little snippets like this. Just that. Next one. And now here we go back to A flat. So A flat was like this. So we are repeating already material, so that's what it is. I'm not going to spend much time on this because it's the same. The A flat target note on F, and then move it around with the A flat major. Same chords from before. Walking up, and here we start the whole pattern one more time. So let's do it together now. So we have left together. Together again. Matches here. Syncopated. And we get the same thing. So I'm gonna play it very slow so you have a um, an idea of the sequence and then it's going to change a little bit and it goes back to the beginning G, G flat, and we're gonna go and do a different pattern here. So we have to you do this. Now we're gonna change the thinking. We're gonna think on the F major scale. We change the thinking now. It's not anymore A flat major, and that's what we're gonna think. So for this. If we have the A flat major chord, the one chord from the scale, we're gonna do an arpeggio. So what you do? That's all there is to it. F major arpeggio, and this will be against F, F, A, A, and then it's gonna change to B flat. So we do it together. simple it matches every other note and then here we'll do 
D flat minor. Octave. And the chord upside down. Last time. Left hand. If we have this chord, we'll also use a B flat and then jump there to the same chord flipped. So all together. Last time. Together. Same time. So we have A flat chromatically going down to F. Minor. We get for the first time to a different chord, D minor 7 flat 5. And D is like this. If we add the 7th, we have a D7. And if we lower this one, D minor 7, and we flat the 5th degree, we have that chord. We also create tension like the diminish. And we'll do two of those with the flat F and B flat so we play together left right and then it starts over so let me do it very slowly from A flat one time slowly and then maybe we play a little faster so we have this like we did. So when you did, play again. Comes back to the first section. This is all the same. Remember? Repeat below. And we get to a section that is called a trio. And here it's going to change. We have an A flat major. And what we'll do. So you notice that we move that A flat to a B flat. And you end up with something like this. I don't think you should worry about what to call it. So we have A flat. We play around those two notes. 
Same thing again. We go back and forth two times. So, I'll do it one last time, so. And then it's double there. Okay? Then it's gonna change chords. Now, what we have here uh, as a chord on the left hand, we're adding to the A flat major, the seventh note, getting rid of the E. So this is always the same chord over there. Now, we jump to E flat, G flat now, F, E flat, C and D. You could take it by measure, so E flat, G, and that's it. And one last time. Okay, let's do it together. Chord together. So it's together. Left, right, left, and together. Now, next part on F. Let's do it together slowly. That's all there is to it. Notice that it's based on the A flat, but also stands we have the G flat, which is from the A flat 7 chord. Now, here, when you get to the D flat, we're gonna change to another chord. For the first time, we're gonna use the fourth chord. And what we have is an inversion, second inversion. And we'll do this. Notice that that's B flat minor. Second chord. Now we're starting to use them all. So we use this chord, A flat major, B flat minor, C minor, we haven't used this much, D flat major we're using. So fourth chord and also second chord. And here you have it. Uh, it's a type of inversion. All that melody is based on those two chords. And then it's gonna repeat. So let's try to do it uh, D flat major. We grab the inversion. We don't grab this one or this one or this one. We go all the way up to here. Bass, D flat, up, A flat, same chord on the top. And then we walk. So we walk to go back to the same chord. So let's do it one last time. Okay, all together now. Try to play all this line together now. D flat. Walking. Same. Same thing. major here. Notice when I walk. Now on the B flat major chord, I'm going to give you the right hand by itself. Same patterns. We 
have is big chords. We have a bass, B flat, B flat seven, D and same chord, F, B flat and chord. If we do it together very slow. again now you can see here we have like a uh, this chord an E flat minor left hand so it's always the E flat chord G Do it together. Diminish chord, G diminish. Okay, and left again us. The B flat is syncopated. Same timing. Same time, same time. And we have this at the end. I recommend dividing this. That's one. again. So our left hand So together will be this that section and also once we do this to go to the next section we'll do this and then it's going to change to this little thing a little bit separate. So here we have a D flat major notice that we keep using A flat major scale left hand I 
try to loop that around and try to uh, really get down the left hand and then when you do it together on the D flat major we have this together everything together Just by itself every other note and the nice thing is when you walk walk up to another chord it's nice to bring them up so Combination of A flat major to a G or E flat kind of diminished. It's like a G diminished. So we have this now, left hand. And notice that the same chords. line we have E flat so one more this is the same actually over so if you do the left hand it goes back now let's do this section from E flat back maybe what I'll do now is play it all the way through so you can see what we have helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe thank you very much